Learning to code a screen is not the funnest or the easiest thing to learn in screen printing, but it's absolutely necessary if you want to make a good screen print. Before I started around it, I used to coat screens with a plastic putty knife that looked like this. So trust me, I know exactly what not to do. So as you're starting out, here are five mistakes that are common for first time coders and what you can do to avoid them. Mistake, filling your scoop coder way too high with emulsion and then not handling it enough. You have no idea how many times I've seen a new student come to a screen printing class and make a scene exactly like this. I mean, that's actually not that bad. I mean, emulsion's way too high, it gets all over the place, it makes a huge mess. To remedy this, simply fill your scoop coder up about halfway and either hold it with one hand in the center with a solid grip or two hands. Luckily, emulsion cleans easily when it's wet with soap and warm water. Second mistake, not holding or securing your screen in place. If you don't firmly hold your screen during coating, it could fall down or your coder won't have the position or pressure needed to properly coat the screen. To fix this, don't be afraid of your screen. It wants emulsion on it, but you have to handle it with intention. So hold it tight and then you can either coat on the floor or use a block and two hands during coating. Mistake, coating your frame, not your mesh. See, your frame doesn't actually take emulsion, so if you start your emulsion on your frame, it actually just gets emulsion all over the place. So to fix this, it's pretty easy. Simply start and stop your emulsion coater about one inch or one half inch away from the frame. Saw off the emulsion and tilt it back so it goes back into the coater, and then release. Here's another mistake, and this is a big one, not using enough pressure when coating your screen. When you don't use enough pressure, emulsion goes everywhere and you use way too much of it. This is hard to expose and makes a mess. All right, these screens are tough and they need good amount of pressure in order to coat well. So first start out by making sure your coater doesn't have any dings in it because it could tear the mesh. If it does, you use some really fine grit sandpaper to sand those down. You should be pushing pretty hard and here is zip when you coat. Coat the outside of the mesh first and then the inside to get a good encapsulation which makes a strong stencil. Final mistake, setting your screen upright to dry or dry it in a dirty area. Emulsion is exactly like glue, so if you put it in a bad environment, it will grab all the dirt and your exposure won't work very well. To fix it, it's simple. Make sure that your area that you're coating in is clean and also very dry. If it's too humid, use a dehumidifier. Let your screen dry with the shirt side down so the emulsion creates a well for the ink to rest in until you release it onto the shirt. Put some blocks between the screens if you don't have a screen rack and put a low blowing fan to pass air through it. Great screens make great shirts and our website screenprinting.com is a great place to learn and get everything you need to do it. Happy screen printing and if you want to learn more be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook.